In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. God's good people, you are listening to Catholic Meditation with me, Father Blessed Ambang Njume. Today is Thursday, the 17th of August, 2023. It is Thursday of the 19th week in Ordinary Time, Church Year A. Thanks for joining us. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit we dare to call our Father, bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the book of Joshua, chapter 3, verses 7 to 11 and verses 13 to 17. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 114. The response to the psalm is, Alleluia. The gospel is taken from St. Matthew, chapter 18, verses 21 to chapter 19, verse 1. I read from the gospel. At that time, Peter came up and said to Jesus, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but seventy times seven. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the reckoning, one was brought to him who owed him ten thousand talents, and as he could not pay, his lord ordered him to be sold with his wife and children and all that he had and payment to be made. So the servant fell on his knees imploring him, Lord, have patience with me and I will pay you everything. And out of pity for him, the Lord of that servant released him and forgave him the debt. But that same servant, as he went out, came upon one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred denarii, and seizing him by the throat, he said, Pay what you owe. So his fellow servant fell down and pleaded with him, Have patience with me, and I will pay you. He refused, and went and put him in prison, till he should pay the debt. When his fellow servants saw what had taken place, they were greatly distressed, and they went and reported to their Lord all that had taken place. Then his Lord summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you all that debt because you pleaded with me. And should not you have had mercy on your fellow servant as I had mercy on you? And in anger his Lord delivered him to the jailers till he should pay all his debt. So also my heavenly Father will do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother from your heart. Now when Jesus had finished these sins, he went away from Galilee and entered the region of Judea beyond the Jordan. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The theme for today's meditation is Be patient with others for as long as God is patient with you. Be patient with others for as long as God is patient with you. Dearly beloved of the Lord, yesterday we talked about differences that exist between and among people and nations leading to conflict. But the need to confront and to express where the other would have hurt us. And after expressing, should they admit their fault, we would have won over our brothers and sisters. The next thing therefore to do 
is to forgive those who ask us to forgive them, to be patient with them. It is very important and necessary to be patient with others. But this is where many times we go wrong. We lack patience. We are very quick to anger. We are quick to hold offense, so much so that we are not ready to let go. It is for this reason that in today's gospel passage, Jesus talks about the parable of the unforgiving servant. He owed his master. His master had been patient with him. He had not paid his debt, and he kept pleading and begging the master to be patient with him. Be patient with me, he asked the master, and I will pay. And the master was patient till he cancelled the debt. Just next second, the servant whose master had been patient with could not exercise patience with his fellow servant. He grabbed him, began to throttle him, and asked him to pay his debt. Dear good people of God, this is exactly the point Jesus raises in today's gospel. God has been patient with us. See how often we offend God. We are like that servant in the parable. We sin every day. Yet we go to confession and we tell God and promise him never to sin again. No sooner have we made that promise than we go out and sin. Yet God is still patient. We come to him and tell him we are sorry and he keeps forgiving. But what is wrong with us that we quickly lose patience with those who offend us? I tell you, you just need to offend some people once and they will keep it for as long as they live. Even if you offend them twice or thrice, they will never let go. They will keep it and wait for the next opportunity to give it back to you. Human beings lack patience with one another. Jesus invites us in today's gospel to be patient with one another. And for that reason, he told Peter, you are not only to forgive seven times, but 70 times seven, meaning there is no elasticity point for patience. We must keep being patient with one another. He concludes, we must forgive one another from the heart. To forgive from the heart means you forgive and you let go. If you claim to forgive and you still hold a grudge, means you have not forgiven from the heart. If you claim to forgive and you are waiting for an opportunity to revenge, then you have not forgiven from the heart. To forgive from the heart means you let go. It means you hold no grudge. However, we should remember that forgiving from the heart does not necessarily mean we forget. You could still remember seeing someone that this is what they did to you. But if you are forgiving them from your heart, it means you hold no grudge against them. It means you do not remind them of the things they did to you in the past. Beloved, if there is one thing that will stop us from entering heaven, it is lack of forgiveness. People pray. People are generous. People try to love. But I tell you, it is difficult and they find it difficult to forgive and let go. Let us pray for that grace, beloved. That is the mountain that we need to bring down. Lack of forgiveness. Lack of patience with others. Let us pray for that grace that we may have patience. Beloved, no human person is perfect. We all make mistakes. So we should learn to be patient with others when they ask us to forgive them. But the fact that we ask people to be patient with us does not mean we take them for granted or that we continue to offend them because we think that they will always be at the other end ready to forgive us. We should also make the effort not to repeat the things we do. In as much as people have to be patient with us, we should also make the effort not to repeat the same things over and over again. It is not easy, beloved but it is possible. Let us pray today and always for that grace to be ready to let go 
to be ready to forgive. We beg of you, look deep into your heart. When Jesus says forgive from your heart, it means you should let them go. How many persons do you have locked up in your heart whom you have refused to let go? How many people do you have locked up in your heart that you have refused to forgive? We beg of you in God's name. Today, dear friends, go into your heart. Release them, unlock them, and let them go. Forgive them because you too have offended God many times and He keeps being patient with you. Do not run out of patience with others who offend you. Forgive them and let them go because God too will forgive you on the condition that you have been patient with others. That is how Jesus concludes the parable. That is how my heavenly Father will deal with every one of you who fails to forgive his brother or sister from his heart. If you do not forgive and let go, God will not forgive you. And if God does not forgive you, beloved, you will not make heaven. Let go, if for nothing, at least for the fact that you want to enter heaven. Let us let go and forgive those who have offended us so that God too will forgive us. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen.